Uh, it says, what is the pH of a 0 0.100 molar solar solution of Na2, NaC2H3O2 when the Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5? So we have NaC2H3O2. It's going to dissociate into Na plus plus C2H3O2 minus. And then what's going to do with this here? This is just simply 70 myons. We don't really care about that. But we care about this guy here, C2H3O2 minus plus water. It's going to be in equilibrium with h 2 H H two H C two sorry H three O two plus uh, this would be O H minus because the hydrogen is going to be donated to here so this is going to be O H minus and our K A is one point eight times ten to the negative five so let's see if it, let's see if they wrote that first. Um, yeah, we're working on this solution, right? Because mm -hmm. this here is not the correct solution here. Yeah, so this solution is actually, um, this solution is the wrong solution for this problem here because I think they meant to answer this, they answered the wrong problem here. Because I was looking at this problem here, I believe that they answered the wrong problem, problem here. So, I immediately off no no off the top of my head that this solution here is going to be incorrect. Um, but nevertheless, I think what we can do is we can actually uh, solve this problem as well and see what problem what, what number we get here. So I have a zero point one zero zero molar solution of this guy here. So what we have to do first, we have to do um, we want to know the pH. Of this guy so let's solve for the pH so I have 0 0.1 here I'm gonna have also 0 0.1 so this starts with a 0 0.1 molar what we can do is we can do an ice table and we can figure out the concentration of uh, this guy here and then we can plug it into Henderson house block so, so this is 0 0.1 molars this is 0 0 we don't care about water here 0 0.1 minus x, positive x plus x here. 0 0.1 minus x plus x plus x here. So we have our ice table here. And what we can do is we can plug it into our, instead of the Ka value here, because we're actually getting hydroxide, we want to know the Kb, right? So we have to relate it actually to Kw here. Equals Ka times Kb. So Kb is going to equal Kw divided by Ka, which is going to be, Base Kw here we know as 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. So we have 5.5 6 times 10 to the negative 10. That's our Kb. This is going to equal uh, our concentration of our um, products times the concentration of a reactant. So we have x squared. So these two guys here times 0 0.1 minus x. I'm going to use the assumption method and it cross out this negative x here. So I'm just simply going to multiply both sides by 0 0.1 and square root it. Which means x is going to be 7.453 times 10 to the negative 6. And this is the concentration of our hydroxide ion here. Which means our pOH is simply just... Um, Sorry, our, o, our, our yeah, pOH equals negative log of our hydroxide ion here. So negative log of this guy, which is 7.453 times 10 to the negative 6, which is going to equal negative log of answer is 5.12. And then we simply just do for pH. We know that 14 equals pH plus pOH. So 14 equals pH plus 5.12. So pH is simply just 14 minus 5.12, which is going to give us a value of 8.87. And this solution would be this solution here as well. So it would be B.
So uh, this is definitely the incorrect solution. Solution is incorrect because it's stating the wrong solution for the above problem. And I'm just gonna write my solution as well. So we have C2H3O2 minus plus H2O, which is going to give me this my equilibrium sign here. HC2H3O2 plus OH minus. So to perform or draw a dice table. So 0 0.1 to 0. This is 0. I hope the formatting comes out nicely. And then from Ka, we can find Kb because we are producing hydroxide ions, which means our equilibrium equation must be and KB, so KW equals KA times KB. So it's gonna be equal, so KB is going to equal KW divided by KA. And this here is, said that it's 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14 divided by KA was 1.8 times 10 to the negative five. And this I wrote as 5.56 times 10 to the negative 10. Yeah. <laughs> Which means I can write that KB is equal to the concentration of our products times OH minus divided by our concentration of our reactants. So HC2H3. O two minus so if KB is going to equal X squared divided by zero point one minus X by assumption method we can remove X we can say that So therefore we can get this equation, but without this x here, x squared is going to equal 5.56 times 10 to the power of negative 11. So x is going to equal 7.453 times 10 to the negative six molars, which will equal our concentration of our hydroxide. And then by solve for POH. POH is going to equal negative log of the hydroxide ions. Negative log of 7.453 times 10 to the power of negative six. POH is going to equal I had here 5.12 and solve for pH. So 14 equals pH plus pOH. 14, so which is pH is going to equal 14 minus pOH minus 5.12, which is going to equal 0.87 here. So the solution is B. So the solution is incorrect because they actually wrote down the wrong guy here.